Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the Pro Evolution Soccer 2015 Master League Series with Southampton. Before we start, let's have a quick look at the table. We're currently on second place, one point behind the league leaders Manchester City and one point in front of Manchester United who are third place and now we'll be playing against them in a direct match for the second place and if they win they'll get second and if there is a draw or if we win that match will remain on the second place in the table so basically I haven't played some of those for a while and get ready to see some ridiculous stuff going on here the first attack for Manchester United in the third minute the pass through the through pass for Wayne Rooney uh, sets him 1-1 with the keeper and with a brilliant chip shot he makes it 1-0 for the Red Devils but still we get the attack in the 15th minute of the match it is Jay Rodriguez 1-1 with the Haya and he gets the shot straight into the keeper and it is still 1-0 for Manchester United but still uh, Jesse Rodriguez playing in for Mane in the box and it's a goal but wait a second the referee points for an offside for Sadio Mane after he received the pass from Hesse let's have a look at the replay real quick Hesse receives the pass and now he'll get it towards Mane and it's a very close call you know but still the referee should give advantage to the attacking side but anyway we continue to move forward Jay Rodriguez with another shot and another save by David De Gea, Ward Prowse now with the corner towards Alderweireld and another save by De Gea, Alderweireld keeps it alive, Jose Fonte and De Gea saves again. That keeper is one of the best goalkeepers so far in the world I guess but still, Robin Van Persie now gets the shot and he hits the post after he, after um, the defender didn't manage to to chase him but now Iturbe steals the ball from Rojo and he fails to hit the target as well. But now a through pass was Wayne Rooney, he's in terrific form and he'll score that without any problems to make it 2-0 for Manchester United here in the St. Mary Stadium. Don't mind the Newcastle Stadium because I haven't changed the names yet from the tournaments but still. Iturbe from the right wing cuts inside and De Gea with a save but now from the corner Tadic with the delivery clear the ball, clears the ball away. Now Jesse gets the shot, hits the post and they get away with it so close so unlucky the Saints but now still Wayne Rooney in the box gets the shot and scores his hat trick without any problems he's in terrific form right now as I said and it's 3-0 for United I have to say I, we, we were pretty unlucky and especially with this one look at this look at this Alderweire out getting it towards Wayne Rooney and that's the easiest thing on the world for Robin Van Persie and it is 4-0 for Manchester United a very disappointing a very frustrating loss because in the first round we lost 4-2 um, but now uh, we get the consolation goal thanks to Hesse who received a nice pass from Iturbe from the right hand side and came first to the ball just before in front of De Gea and managed to beat the keeper and to score on the empty net but still here is the final whistle for that match it is finished it has finished Southampton 1 Manchester United 4 and uh, the another defeat from Manchester United but still let's have a look at the stats 50 50 percent position uh, for both teams and 15 shots for Manchester United only nine shots for Southampton and Wayne Rooney is the man of the match in this one let's have a look at the other results Man City winning their game against Leicester with one goal to nil and as well Chelsea winning their match against Swansea City with one goal to nil which means that Chelsea we're level with Chelsea on points and we're down to third place because Manchester United now are up to second and let's have a look at the next match we are away at Burnley which will be a much more easier match because Burnley are not Manchester United uh, but still our attack is pretty much in form at the moment and let's see if we can get the win in this one we'll be playing at Turf Moor, don't mind the Brisbane Stadium still uh, but anyway, let's see what we can do in this one after that frustrating defeat against Manchester United at home but now we get the first attack in 4 minutes played now the pass for Pele in the box and he scores to make it 1-0 a fantastic assist from 
J. Rodriguez, I have to say, and that counterattack for Southampton was brilliant. But now, J. Rodriguez, now he's on the end of that attack, and the shot was saved by Gilks. And now, Mark um, Kaisley in the box. Sam Vokes with the rebound, and Forster with a save. Now, Mane gets it through for Graziano Pele. Can he score this one? No! He fails to hit the target once again, but still, Iturbe from the right-hand side gets a low cross towards Waniyama, and he makes it 2-0 for Southampton. An easy finish for him, and a comfortable lead for the Saints, who are playing with their reserve shirts and in this one, with their blue shirts, but still, we continue to attack. It is Iturbe, flicks it on for Jay Rodriguez, and another save by Gilks. But now, Burnley get the attack. It is Jones in the box. Jones! And he will score to make it 2-1 for Burnley. I have to say, this season, our defense is simply terrible. I mean, okay, another ball over the top towards Vogt. And look at this. We were 2-0 up. And now they came back into this one. And they will get the point, most probably, because it was the 88th minute of the match. Now we're into extra time. Florin Gardas goes diving in to Sam Vokes and he was already booked in that game so he gets a second yellow and he's been sent off in uh, in extra time but still that game finished 2-2 and we get a disappointing point from it now we had to get the three points but still we ended up getting one point but let's have a look at the stats 58 percent possession for Burnley seven shots to six they had one shot more than us and man of the match in this one will be Vokes with his goal. But still, Chelsea winning their, league, their match against Stoke City. Manchester, Manchester City winning as well against Arsenal. And Manchester United have drawn their game. But still, that means that we are down to fourth place. And two points behind Chelsea and two points behind Manchester United for second. I didn't saw uh, how much points behind we are again um, behind City. But still... Uh, next game is against Crystal Palace. Once again, a pretty much informed striking trio. And hopefully we can get the win after we failed to win our last match against Burnley. After we were 2-0 up, we ended up 2-2. I mean, it, that that's simply frustrating. But still, I haven't played for a while. And now look at this. Fraser Campbell, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. And <laughs> Toby Alderweireld with the sliding tackle from behind. It was a late tackle and the referee gave away a penalty and a red card for Toby Alderweireld. I don't think he got him. I mean, there was no contact between him. But still, it is a penalty. Mila Jedinak, he most probably scored this one. Let's have a look. Yeah, bottom left corner. Sends the keeper to the wrong way. And it is 1-0 for Crystal Palace. An early goal for them. And now let's see, we get another, we get our first attack into, in that match. Jay Rodriguez, wonderful technique from him. And that's a fantastic finish to score the equalizer and to make it 1-0. In After um, nine minutes played in the match, Jay Rodriguez scores the equalizer. And Southampton are back into it. Now Ryan Bertrand comes uh, into the middle, gets it for Jay Rodriguez who tries a shot and Speroni with a save. But still, Fraser Campbell, one-on-one, and the shot is straight towards Fraser Foster. But still, Shamak gets it for Campbell. We're into the second half, and Campbell, with a fantastic finish into the far corner, makes it 2-1 for Crystal Palace, and most probably, they'll get the win. After they were 1-0 up, we managed to score the equalizer, but still, another chance for us. Emmanuel Mayuka gets the shot, and it's saved once again by Speroni. A huge chance missed by Mayuka and we ended up losing that game with two goals to one. And we were down to ten men from the beginning of the game, basically. And yeah, a very frustrating streak. Three matches without the win. Uh, and as we look at the stats, we had we had more possession. But still, the shots were pretty much balanced. And Brede Hangelon gets the man of the match. Chelsea drawing their game against QPR. Um, Manchester City winning and I didn't saw what Manchester United did but still they they have won their game because they are pretty much with 61 points and um, 
yeah, that was it. The last game for that episode. Next up, we'll be playing against Chelsea for the FA Cup semi-final. And we have another game against Liverpool away from home, which will be in the next episode. So make sure you don't miss it because it will be a very interesting one. Hopefully we get back into our winning form. And yeah, that was about it. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care.